What do you believe in? So, I'm an Orthodox Christian, so I believe in Christianity, but maybe not your idea of Christianity. Well, I believe in Jesus. That's what a Christian is. No, but you are a Protestant. No, I'm non-denominational. I follow the Bible, not man's okay. traditions. Okay, okay, you follow the Bible, but who's, like, origin of Christianity? Where did it come from? The origins of Christianity, the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came down. Okay. Second chapter in Acts is, is the beginning of the church age. I'm a Christian. You are a Christian, but you don't know what you believe in. Which church do you follow? I should follow, I am the church. No, you're not the church. You're I'm the Ecclesiastes, it's the gathering no, of the it, saints. No, you, you're a man. Like, you no, have no, to no. no, no, listen, listen, listen. Because you're arrogant in your own knowledge, you're not listening to what the Bible says. You're, you're not listening first, to what the Bible first says. All, first of all, don't accuse me of anything. Like, you're calling me arrogant. I won't say anything that's arrogant. Okay, so you, you say there's a correct church. Which is the correct church? The Holy Orthodox Church is the correct church. Okay, why did Paul write seven letters? Paul wrote letters for people to follow Christ because Paul is actually, and you can actually see the the figure of Paul, Jesus predicted Paul. Jesus said, a friend will come, they will like continue my word and spread the religion. Jesus himself said that his words will not be finished, but somebody will come after him and finish the religion. You mean the comforter, it is better I go so that the comforter can come. Yes. Okay, the Comforter is the Holy Spirit, it's the third person of Christ. No, that's that's your interpretation. No, it's not. No, Jesus said, okay, okay, let's, let's just discuss this for a moment. Jesus said, the Comforter will come and finish my word, and I cannot reveal everything to you right now, but the, my friend, like, a friend will come and finish your religion. So he was speaking about Paul, not the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is God's power. But I So, mean, so power we, we became the temple of God. Essentially. Yes. Yeah, so the, the temple of God the means that God can reside in us, and that's the Holy Spirit. That is, that is true, and the Holy Spirit was in Paul, but Paul in himself was speaking through the Holy Spirit, to basically finish Christianity, right? Paul helped spread Christianity massively, and he was the leader for the Gentiles. He told us how to be Christian. Yeah. So I listened to Paul's teachings, yes, but it was the Holy Spirit that was sent to me, to you. The same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead is in me. That is, that is true, but we cannot... I don't, we, can, we can argue in many ways, like we can... But I believe Paul was infused with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, he was, and so am I. Yeah, of course. So the it's Comforter wrong. is not talking about Paul, it's talking about the Holy Spirit. Okay, I mean, these are all semantics you're talking about. No, 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 they're not semantics. No, they're semantics. Like, okay, you can say, like, Jesus was speaking about the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit was in Paul, and Paul, through the Holy Spirit, spread Christianity... Of what we know today, yeah. it's the same stuff. Like yeah. no, nobody cares. It's like okay. we're basically agreeing on, on the same thing. Okay. Paul spread Christianity. It's fine. Okay. So, in, in the reason he wrote seven letters, the epistles, is to correct okay. churches because every church is slightly wrong. Man is imperfect. No. The no. Reason, no. Is your church perfect? Okay. Is my church perfect? I think so. Yes. And I can prove to you why. Take the floor. My church did not alter the Bible in any way to introduce like new inventions, like stuff like, for example, Catholics where they're popes and their papacy and all the sort of like stuff okay. that comes after the Bible. I agree. I'm, not... I'm anti-Catholic. I'm anti-Catholic. Okay. I don't think I'm not anti. Catholic myself. I, I am. I, think I love the so people, great. but I'm anti-Catholic. <laughs> okay, that's that's your choice. I don't think we should condemn ca Catholics. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I love the people. I'm not condemning them. I'm just okay. telling them I'm I'm anti the, the church because it's a fake church pretending to be Christian and changing the doctrine. So I'm anti someone okay. changing it. He said, "Let anyone be accursed who changes this gospel." Okay, I agree. I don't think the Catholic Church is speaking the true word of Christ. No, it's not. But I will condemn Catholics. No, I I'm not, I'm not, I can't condemn Catholics. I'm not okay. good. That's fine. Like I still think they're our brothers. In a way, so I, I believe that if you have the Holy Spirit, you're my brother. If you don't, you're not. I mean, in a way, that's that's oh. my belief. Because so, so inside every church, I believe that there's there's wheat and tear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that I'm the wheat because I I experienced the Holy Spirit. I was born again. Now everyone must be born again. That's what makes someone Christian. So you can go to whatever church you want to. When you understand the gospel and accept the gospel, you become Christian. So Christians exist in every church. Okay. But the teachings of the churches are are all a little bit off. Well, some of them are just satanic. Some of them okay. don't give you the gospel. You have to study it and find the gospel. So if okay. your church is not telling you that Jesus died for you, Jesus is raised by faith alone, you can't lose your salvation... Do you okay. believe you can you can lose your salvation? I do believe you can lose your salvation, yes. Why do you believe that? Because if you follow false teachings, and by the way, I don't think my church is a false teaching, but for example, like the Church of Mormon. Yes, yeah, uh, like, Church of Mormon is. Uh, how, how, many, how many churches, how many different denominations have you studied? I don't even know, to be honest. Like, okay. there are plenty. Okay, so... You follow traditions. You have traditions. Yes, in Orthodoxy we have traditions. Okay, yes. so so God doesn't really like traditions. Paul said, "Make your own traditions." Yeah. Okay. If one man says one day is holy, that day is holy. If one man doesn't eat a certain meat, that doesn't. You know what I mean? If I decide that the Sabbath is on a Wednesday and I don't do work, I relax and I give that day to God, then that day is the Sabbath. <laughs> I decide what day the Sabbath is. He says, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Okay. I agree, yes. Okay, so I have the, a relationship what, with God. It's not... Okay, but for example, the Orthodox Church, what exactly do you think we, as Orthodox Christians, violate in Christianity? I, don't like... I think that you're too stuck in, in tradition and not stuck enough not, in, in the grace of God. We're not stuck tradition, because I don't think Orthodox invented necessarily okay. anything. I think that you separate, <laughs> that you don't separate salvation from sanctification. That is not, that is not true, because okay. we do if, believe in... If you believe okay. you can lose your salvation, you believe that, that, you can let, that you can let go. But we believe in that because we actually follow the word, words of Christ. Christ said, no, listen, Christ said, not everybody... Who calls Lord, Lord, will enter the gates of heaven. Absolutely. For those who do the will of the Father. What's the will of the Father? The will of the Father is faith written in the, in the Old Testament. It is written in the Old Testament. It is written in many laws. So in Orthodoxy, we believe, of course, the first and foremost thing for entering the kingdom of God should be following Jesus. Absolutely. Nobody can deny that. Yeah. But we also believe... You should actually, through your works, follow the will of the Father. You cannot just go out and commit any sin you want and think you go to heaven because Jesus died for my sins and like I'm going to heaven anyway. That's that's not the case. So listen that's to like, me. Listen to me. Okay. In in um, Cain and Abel at the beginning, Cain and Abel. Okay. God said, Cain, I don't need your fruits, your works. He brought all his vegetables and said, look what I've done. Look what I've done. And Abel yeah. went, um, you told me to kill a lamb and I've killed a lamb and it's sacrificed. It covered the sin. And he, he, he detested um, Cain's um, vegetables. He was like, I didn't ask you to do this. This is, this is not good. Go away. Cain, uh, Abel, you've, killed, you've made a sacrifice for me. This is good. Yeah? When the angel of death in Egypt flew over the houses and killed all the firstborn children who didn't have the blood on the lamp on the on the doorpost. The angel didn't go into the house and said, Have you done all these good deeds? 
They were spared by the blood. They were spared by God, not by what okay. they've done. Okay, okay. Everyone's always spared by the blood. That makes sense, but that will reply to you, okay? No, I'll let so, me finish. Just, just promise you, promise okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. Go okay. Ahead. Now, sanctification is what you do after that. You say, I believe Jesus died for my sins. I believe in that blood. Yeah, you believe in the blood. Yes. The yes. Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of you. Now, you too go and do the works of God. So a good tree produces good fruit. So you will do these things and you will be rewarded for it. You will be sanctified in a process. You'll be refined like a silversmith over the fire. You'll be refined. So God will burn out your impurities, change your taste, change your pride of what you do. And you will, and you will give, uh, give these, these, these works to God for his glory. So you need to realise that you can't save yourself and you can't lose it. You can gain and lose rewards. You go through the door and then you go to work. And if you do bad, it says this, neither liar, adulterer, effeminate, homosexual, all these things will yes. inherit the kingdom of God. Yeah? Yes. I'm an yes. adulterer. When I look at a woman, when I walk out the street, if I look at her bum, yeah, I've committed adultery. Same. Yes. Yeah? I don't even have to do the act. Yeah, I'm an adulterer. If I get angry with someone on this thing, yeah, and I think, do you know what, I just want to... Yeah? I've, it's if I killed my brother. So I'm a murderer. Yeah? They're God's standards. The inheritance of the rewards... Yeah, so I will lose rewards. I will not inherit rewards in the kingdom of God. In, in heaven, when I get there, because I have been doing these things, I, there will be less rewards. I will get less crowns, the robe of righteousness, left high standing with God. So your salvation is based on Jesus. Your sanctification is based on how your eternity will pan out. You can't lose okay. your salvation because God is not going to let go of you. Okay. Okay, can I have a reply? Yeah. I agree with basically everything you said. But here's the thing. How do we determine if somebody is actually Christian and believing in all the things you said and like accepting the actual salvation throughout accepting the Holy Spirit and becoming Christ-like? Because I, th I think salvation comes from becoming Christ-like as well as like accepting Jesus' sacrifice. Because you have many Christians, in the USA especially, in the Protestant religion, you have many Christians who hold the belief that simply believing that Jesus died for your sins is enough to get you heaven. Amen. But still, you can do whatever you want. Like, you can follow every life you want, commit any sin you want, commit like all sorts of godless actions but you still go to heaven because christ died for your sins okay. this is what the orthodox church is against we believe i don't know what what you're showing me but we believe that in orthodoxy you have to of course accept that christ died for your sins but you have to also try at least try we're not saying you should be perfect in your attempts of course you you're not christ you cannot even come close to Christ. But at least try to be Christ-like and follow what he teach. But if you believe they can do any sin imaginable, do whatever you want, basically live your life as an absolute atheist who doesn't even care about God's laws and God's worth, and through the blood of Christ alone, you will go to heaven, okay. we disagree. Okay. So we think, and listen, we think, I've answered. Okay. Listen. Okay. So what I just showed you there was this. That's where Jesus died. Okay. Now one of them, there were both. There were two people that died with him. Okay. They were both put to death for being very, very bad people. Yes. One of them, I know exactly what you're going to say. I know my religion. One of them condemned Christ and he was mocking Christ on the cross. He was like, oh, yeah. you're the Messiah, you cannot even save yourself, whatever. 
the other person was he was a horrible man okay but he asked christ when you go to your father please speak about me remember me like, remember me confess about me so this guy this criminal this horrible criminal is actually the first person to go to hell he's the first person to go to hell because he believed in christ i absolutely agree but at the there's same no, time there's no but no 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 there, didn't get baptized a, didn't do anything brother brother you cannot see so shall i tell you there's, why a christian listen 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 shall i tell you okay. why a christian a christian can't lead can't live the same way that they did okay Okay. When you when you actually get born again and you have God live inside of you, He changes you. But uh, God did not change me. I'm still committing the horrible sins I was always committing. You haven't accepted Christ because you believe that it's you that saves you. That that's not the case. No, I have no, to accept please, Christ, listen, please listen to me because I I love you so much. I know you should okay, listen. Okay, I love you too, brother. Thank but you. Listen. You you can only know the Holy Spirit and only change with the help of God. And if you think He needs your help to change you, He's never going to be able to get inside. He wants you. He wants you to come to the end of yourself and the beginning of Him. Okay. Well, I have tried. It's no, no, no. You can't try. It's not about you trying. Listen, it's so easy. It's so easy. It's hard. Bro. I'll God doesn't want you. God doesn't want okay. you to try. He wants you to believe. He wants you to. He wants you to. I do, bro, I do believe. I'll be honest with you. I do believe. So what? Okay, listen. I'm, I'm, still, I'm gonna give you a I'm video. Still, I'm, st I'm, I'm still an alcoholic. That's fine. I'm still, I'm still. No, it's so fine, bro. Like I'm still dying. I'm killing myself. Like what God will doing? change you. How? When? When? When you let go of religion and let go, start a relationship with him. How, okay, teach me how, how do I do that? Okay, li I listen to me. I, I actually, I actually I know this. you do, I know you do. Okay. Okay, listen. When God died for us, he did something that we can't do. Okay. We, he gives us the right to call him Father. I want you to think about how beautiful God is. Now, on your birthday, on Christmas Day, your dad comes downstairs and he goes, Son, I love you so much. I've got you a shiny red bicycle. It's your size. It's got the tassels on. It's a brilliant red bicycle. It's brilliant. It's all wrapped up and he goes, Son, I love you. And he gives you the bicycle. Oh, Dad, thank you. I just what I wanted. And you look at your dad and you say, Dad, can I give you $5 towards it? And your dad looks at you and goes, no. I gave you this because I love you. God does everything because he loves us. And it's very offensive to pay for a free gift and think that we can earn it. We choose to follow him. And when, when we accept what he's done, God can change us from the inside. And he forgives you, but he's covered your sins. And when you realise that he has done all those things, you will serve out of love, not fear. It's all about him. You'll put your faith in him. You can never earn heaven. You can never earn heaven. It's free. The God of the universe created this world for you. Do you think you can save yourself? No, God can and he has. You just need to let go of, of yourself. Remember the thief on the cross? He's going to heaven. He's there. He might not have any rewards in heaven. He might not have any rewards, but you, you're living. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're living. God says this. When you step towards God, he steps towards you. Yeah? Yeah? And God will change you. Spend time with him. Bring your sins to him. You, you, if, you, if you think you can't stop alcohol, you probably can't. But if you ask God to do it and you say, do you know what, I can't do this, Dad. God can do it. You know when a young child is in the kitchen 
and they and they've got food everywhere. They've got beans everywhere. They've got ketchup up the washing machine. They've got washing up liquid on the floor. It's just a mess. And the dad comes in, and he goes, "Son, you've made a mess everywhere." Does your dad then say, "Here are the cleaning products," and gets the child to clean up? No, because then you'll have food everywhere. Then you'll have a little kid running around, get making even more of a mess. You need to allow God to help you. You need to say, God, I can't do it. Can you do it? Dad, can you do it? And you'll start to see change. It's a process, bro. Look at the prophets. The prophets always failed. Peter denied Christ three times. Solomon had 700 wives. Yeah? David sent sent one of his friends of the army to die and had sex with Bathsheba. They always fail. But God saves them. You can't save yourself. But when you let go of you trying to save yourself, God can help you. God saves you. Religion can't save you. Do you know why Jesus hated religion? Because it made people think it was them that was doing the good works. The Jews couldn't keep the law. That's why they had a temple for sacrifice. So when a Jew did something bad, he said, I've done something bad. I believe that the blood of this animal will cover my sins. And his faith in the blood made him righteous. He believed that God, the blood to come, would make him righteous. He wants your faith that he will cover your sins, that he is holy, that you bring glory to him. We don't sing about how good the church is. We sing about how good God is. We were a sinner, amazing grace. Grace, God loves you, bro. God loves the fact that you're crying. God is like, oh, my son's hurt. Let me help him. You can't save yourself. But when you are saved, you can work for God. God works through broken vessels. God can use you mightily. He just wants your heart. It's beautiful you want to go to a church and you're, and you're in the Orthodox Church, but you can go to any church and worship God. You are the church. Go to that church, but know that it's all about Jesus and you serve out of love. If you think, if I, if I did something, if I'm going to my dad and saying, Dad, I've, I've cleaned the street. I've cleaned the street. If I've cleaned the street because my dad's going to hit me, if I don't clean the street, it's not good, is it? But if I want to impress my dad and I do it because I love him, he sees my heart, he sees my intentions, he knows my thoughts. If I'm doing this because I love him, he's like, oh, my son loves me. He's done this because he loves me. If I pray to him because I want to pray to him, I want to pray to him my way. He goes, my son wants to pray to me now. If I do something, if I keep my, if I do it because I love him, he loves that. If I do it because I think, think, can you imagine if you you sat down and you were talking to your dad, and you and your dad says my my son's only talking to me because he thinks he has to. When you're when your dad's dying in 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 his bed in his deathbed when he's older, and and if he thinks that you're coming to visit him because you you think you have to, he's going to feel awful. But if you come to your dad's deathbed and go, Dad, I'm here because I love you. I'm not going to leave this deathbed. He loves you. He just wants your love. That's it. You can't give him anything. He created the heavens and the earth. He doesn't need anything off you. He wants your faith. And through faith, you will be loving. You'll soften. You'll stop looking at yourself. You go, I'm not perfect. My Jesus is perfect. I'm pointing to Jesus. I'm not pointing to myself. And God will change you and make you more perfect. Uh, Thanks. So so much for don't, don't because listen I, I i was i wasn't christian yeah it's just through jesus i want you to watch this video yeah okay. it's it's Come what on. the gospel is yeah please do pray and get out of religion yeah here's my here's my youtube channel mate okay absolutely follow me but i want you to watch this video tonight yeah and i i, I want to pray for you and i want you to do just just what uh, on your last can just pour a little bit down the drain because the, you're, you're, at, you're, 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 t you're stepping towards God and he'll step towards you and he'll meet you. 
Yeah. When things are too heavy, you say, God, I can't carry all this weight. I'm an alcoholic. Can we help? Can you help me? And I will listen to you and I'll do my best. And then he can come in because you're not allowing God to come in. You're saying, I'm going to do this and you're a human. You're always going to fail. But if you say, I can't do this, God can come and change you. Yeah? The, the, yeah, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. What's your name? Uh, Christian. Christian. Good name, that, mate. I'm Adam. Dear God, yes. loving Heavenly Father, um, I just thank you for who you are. You are our perfection. Your blood was perfect. You saved us from ourselves to be in unity with you. You indwell in us so we can do works with you, to glorify you. We speak only of you. Paul said, if I boast, I boast only of Christ. My good deeds are like filthy rags to God. He doesn't need our good deeds. Oh, wretched man that I am, through faith alone, not by works, lest any man boast. Jesus Christ is the door to heaven. Yeah, it's your faith that makes you righteous. And all he wants to do is for you to accept him, not you. He hates religion. Yeah. Oh, Pharisees, you whitewash tombs. Yeah. You don't show the love. It, turn to God. Yeah. Accept what he did. You can never say to yourself, God, you're perfect. I'm sorry. I forgive everyone. I ask for forgiveness. And then when he comes and dwells in the temple, you are the temple. The veil was split. The Shekinah glory left and the Holy Spirit is on this earth wanting to make a home in a dirty vessel. He will clean you. God will change your heart. God will give you victory. God will humble you. God will show you love and reveal truth to you as you two walk together. But you can know Christ. You are the church. God is all loving. God is all glory. And he wants to work through you. You have to stop trying. You have to go, hey, Jesus, you are you are everything. I, I turn away. I change my mind. On, on works, yeah, I change my mind on what's good, your standard, and I let you in to clean me up, and he will. You'll never, ever be perfect, but with God, you'll always be better, and with God, you will go to heaven, yeah? Okay. Don't let religion ever tell you you can lose your salvation. Okay. Yeah, you can lose thank rewards. You. Don't thank me, thank God. He saved my life. Thank God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Watch that video. It will change your life. Okay. Thank you, bro. God bless you. Hallelujah. Bye bye. God bless you. Like, th thank you for this conversation. You, I have to. No, but I you, have to thank you. Like, he, if you message me on that channel, I'll answer anything. Okay. I will message you. I have a Christian channel as well. And you can post yeah. it on the link. Post it on the link. Okay. I'll put awesome. you up on my video as well. This is, this is my channel, yeah. Okay, I'm going to like and subscribe, but your video will be up, but it just points at me, okay? Okay, bro. I'll see you soon. So Hallelujah. Much. May God bless you. God bless you. We'll Watch bless the you. video. Watch the video. I will. And get I will. on your knees and accept Jesus tonight. Today is the day of salvation. Religion. Step out of religion into relationship. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.